Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly Nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. It has been an ongoing request to talk about what do I have on this shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what it is. What do I have? I break them down according to notes or sections. So there's amber, there's nutty fragrances, coconut fragrances, chocolate, Middle Eastern, so forth, so on. So we're going to slowly go through them, or should I say video to video, I'm going to break them down to the ones that I have in each section. So for everyone who has asked, what do you have in your collection, Claudia? These videos are for you. Let's talk about coffee. Oh, this is my favorite note. So let's just jump into it. Uh, I have New Bond, New Bond Street by Bond Number Nine. With this one, you're going to get chestnut, cacao, coffee, vanilla, and sandalwood. This one is so good. Like it was one of my first Bond Number Nines that I kind of got into. Uh, so having the coffee note was just right up my alley. I have another bond number nine and it is so new york this one gave you the cacao and the coffee but it was more plummy like a plum fruity note so this one was good it's very airy very beautiful okay and i had to get into carolina or Car yeah carolina herrera right and that is to get this one here. This is Bronze Tonka. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. With this one, you're gonna get a bit of oud and coffee in it, uh, but there's a touch of like leather and jasmine. But for me, it was the saffron. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So this is Bronze Tonka. And one that I wear to bed mostly uh, is this one here. And it is Coffee Break. And with Coffee Break, it's just a really beautifully soft fragrance, right? The lavender and the coffee in it, but it has like a bit of a milkiness to it that makes it real, like it's very comforting. Uh, so I have Coffee Break. Can't, uh, you know, I have tons of Manceras. So this one here is Oud Cafe. And Oud Cafe uh, is coffee and amber with black currant and bergamot. Uh, a bit of floral note, but not a lot. Like it's, it's, it's really just a very, very nice, smooth coffee. Not a dark coffee, like a smooth coffee note. And along with my Mancera, you know I have to have a Montal. And um, I wasn't really a big fan of the Intense Cafe, but I do truly enjoy Rosito Intense Cafe because it has a bit of a rosiness to it. So along with that coffee, you get this like Turkish rose note. But the coffee note in it is more of a roasted coffee note. So, I mean, I, I really liked it. It has vanilla and the caramel in it. But this one for Intense Cafe, Rosito Co. Uh, Intense Cafe was one of the ones that I truly did enjoy. And then, of course, I have a, a masculine scent. A scent that what people would say was supposed to be for men. But for me, it's I, I loved it, right? It gave me the coffee note. It was what I wanted Angel to be until I found Angel Toilet, right? So the Toilet Angel reminds me a lot of this one. But then I had already fell, fell in love with this one here, which is Amen, that I didn't get rid of both of them. But I find that I kind of go back and forth between the two. Uh, but this one is a little more heavier on the coffee side. So it's in my coffee category. Uh, but it has a ton of notes in it, but the, but the main ones is just the coffee, the milk, the bergamot, the lavender backdrop to it. I really did enjoy this one. 
Uh, here's another Navitus, and it's old school one with the you know more square box than the more cert, um, rounded one that they're coming out with now. And this is Soar Exclusive. This is almond and chocolate. Almond, chocolate, uh, blood orange, more of a, it's like an orangey undertone. There's a marshmallow note in this that is really amazing. So, of course, that I have that in my collection. This is one that is newer to my collection, and it is Golden Dollar. Uh, this, I just think that everybody should try it, honestly. Uh, this is gorgeous. It's such a sexy chocolate fragrance. Long lasting and everything. Like, it's amazing. Um, I think I'm really becoming quite fond of George of, of late. And then to round off my collection in my coffee notes is uh, Deluxe. Deluxe can really go in many categories. Um, I find some people say Deluxe falls under roses because um, of Turkish rose. Some people put it under honey because there's a honey undertone to it. Some I've had some people say that if they had to put it the way I set mine up, that they would put it in amber. Uh, but for me, it falls under coffee. Because uh, it has all of those gorgeous notes in it. But do, um, Deluxe is the one that rounds off my collection for coffee. Alright, I hope you have enjoyed it so far. We only went over uh, probably just one category in this video. i make sure that I list right here what it is that we were talking about. If you know of more fragrances that I probably need to add to my collection, or you have some fragrances that fit into this category that I haven't talked about yet, put it in the comments and let everybody else know what is in your collection. Again, this is a video to let everyone know, I'm doing several videos, to what is behind me. That has been the burning question. What is behind you, Claudia? So we're gonna talk about it. Stay tuned. I'm going to continue going with these type of videos. See you in the next video.